Welcome aboard the Colt Express. Today, we're going to look at the rather underappreciated character of Django, who has an interesting ability that can really throw his opponents off their game. So we'll, we hope you'll join us here today for our playthrough on Legendary Tactics. Now, Django, to my mind, is more of a middling kind of character in terms of ability. Um, I actually suspect that his ability is better at lower player counts when um, a shot fired can uh, essentially ruin the plans of, of an opponent, but when you've got you know five other opponents, um, the impact's probably going to be a little bit more diluted. However, if you have a smaller game, um, being able to uh, you know, ruin the plans of essentially maybe one third of your <laughs> opponents or whatever. That's going to uh, to cause uh, a lot more uh, damage uh, and and basically amplify uh, his ability. Now, his ability uh, because it is so tied to shooting is going to be um, something that's going to kind of lean Django towards getting the Gunslinger Award. You're going to want to shoot as often as possible. Um, even when it's uh, perhaps not um, an ideal situation, simply because the, the main uh, effect that his ability will have is to knock the opponents off their game. So if they think, oh, I'll just wander over to, the, uh, to this car and then I'll drop down and get a gem, if you can shoot them, they may end up dropping into the wrong car uh, or... You know, it just it throws them their plans off because a lot of times um, players have to kind of, you know, calculate, OK, I'm going to move to this car, then I'm going to loot, then I'm going to do this. And so it really does throw them uh, off their game uh, that way. So that's really the effect. Now, it is very situational. And obviously, if you shoot someone in the caboose or you shoot someone in, on the locomotive, it's not going to have uh, any effect at all. Um, so other than in sort of encouraging you through your ability to go for, um, you know, to go for the, uh, the Gunslinger Ward. It's not really going to have that much uh, impact. Um, and so in this game, um, we had a, a six players, so a very long train and, uh, and a bit of chaos going on, people punching each other, knocking things out of their hands, and um, there's a bit of back and forth. Um, my goal initially, because I only had the one uh, shooting card, was uh, basically to to maybe see if I could get some loot early on. Instead, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> maybe taking some damage here, but um, it's always a good idea. Now, I have the double action, so I'm, I'm going to shoot Ghost. Uh, Belle is protected because of her ability, and Cheyenne luckily leaves town, so <laughs> I can uh, now climb onto the roof. And uh, now if you are going for the Gunslinger Ward, obviously it is better for you to hang out on the roof, typically because you have more targets available. Being in the cars limits your shooting to the adjacent cars. So um, as you can see, Ghost here is without targets, so uh, it ends up wasting a turn, unfortunately, which is, you know, hey, that's part of the game uh, when you have a, a programmed movement type of game that is... Uh, typically going to um there's going to be a few moves there that are wasted and you could have a good laugh about you know how the how that happens um so watching the other's cards there's lots of movement um i'm going to uh to punch i you know I, I was a little bit lost in terms of what i thought might be the best move for me here um because there there's not really a, you know a lot of loot i guess going for the strong box but the other, I guess the, the downside of Django as well is that sometimes I feel that, I mean, aside from just grabbing loot where you can, um, his ability doesn't really give you any direction. You know, with Bell, uh, for example, you know, you are uh, planning to, you know, to be in, in, this, in the cars with other uh, bandits. Um, with Ghost, you're trying to looking to maximize your first card. Uh, so there's kind of a, a natural direction. Someone like Doc just has flexibility, um, lots of different options. So you can, you've got a wide range of choices. But with Django, you know, I mean, it really depends. I guess the the, the only thing that really occurs to me is you may want to shoot early if you have if you're early on in the player count, um, in the in the turn because uh, if you know there's going to be a target for you, you may as well use it. Um, 
obviously uh, anytime you you shoot a bandit is going to be useful uh, but in general you want to throw them off their game early on in the in the round so shooting on your last card unless you figure that's the the best uh, way to uh, operate um, and luckily I caught Belle on her own here which is great she happened to uh, come up <laughs> come up to see me so I was able to knock some treasure out of her hands Belle is such a powerful character you want to take every opportunity to knock treasure out of her hands because she's going to collect a lot of it over a typical game. Um, <clears throat> but um, or shooting earlier in the in the turn is probably a great idea, just because, again, um, it affects the actions that, uh, you know, the, that opponent has for the rest of the round. Uh, if you shoot someone towards the end, they can adjust. They'll get a fresh hand of cards, and they can figure out what to do from there. But um, but other than that, I mean, as I said, Django is not does not really have a lot in the way of direction uh, per se. Beyond that, just make the most of the uh, the opportunities you have. Try and get the Gunslinger award. That's uh, very important, uh, I think, for uh, Django to to win. And just try and get as much loot as you can uh, in the meantime. So oh great, and I'm able to shoot Bell here, which is always great. Um, and uh, knock her off her game, as as I said. And, you know, you know, only one turn left, but you never know. Um, she, if she chose to uh, change altitude and go down into the car, that would have been powerful. Um, and the marshal can also play into this as well. Um, if you're able to shoot characters into the marshal, um, for example, or knock them one car over so that they end up, you know, and end up in the marshal's car when they uh, when they change altitude then that can be a great uh, thing because not only do they get a bullet card when you shoot them, but they get a bullet card from the marshal as well. So you can double up the effect uh, of, uh, you know, of the, the, the shot and <laughs> what it would otherwise, uh, how it would otherwise benefit. And, uh, and again, shooting earlier, this is true of any character, anytime you're going for the gunslinger award, and, but just in general, shooting earlier in the game is more effective because bullet cards you get in round five are not going to matter. Um, even arguably in, in round four, they're probably of a very low impact. So, um, but a bullet card you give someone in round one can come back to haunt them, <laughs> you know, many times. So, uh, so that's generally what you uh, are looking to uh, to do. Um, so uh, so my goal again now is is at this point I'm 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 tied with uh, with Doc for the uh, the Gunslinger Award unfortunately. So I'm going to uh, you know see what I can do to make sure that I'm maximizing. I really probably should have been thinking about uh, shooting there, but um, <clears throat> you know in this game I was I was really focused uh, on getting loot and uh, seeing what I was able to do uh, to maximize that. Because at the end of the day, you do need loot as Django. It's not going to be enough to just shoot people. And now Doc has the, uh, has the uh, uh, you know, uh, the box, the $1,000 um, prize in the locomotive. So this game was seemed to me, to be honest, I mean, here we are in round three, and I did not feel like I was doing that well. Um, so it was kind of an interesting, um, game. I was, you know, I, I never give up on games midway through cause I always like to see them all the way to the end. But, uh, in this case it was, you know, it seemed to be, to me to be a bit, you know, touch and go as far as, uh, as this game. And I find as well that that's the case generally when you have, uh, six players, it becomes very, very chaotic. The chaos is great. It's fun. It is very hard to plan. It is very hard to work around, uh, work around this. So, um, but I was able to attack Doc, as you can see. Sometimes you're playing cards like the Sheriff card, just hoping there is a target next door, and uh, and there's lots of Sheriff cards. This Sheriff is running around like, like crazy. Uh, but um, <clears throat> but in general, if you're um, using the Sheriff card to Again, throw off the the, the plans of the uh, of your opponents. Um, it can be a great thing. So, going into round four, um, I've got one shooting card again. Not that impressive, uh, especially if you're going for the, uh, you know, if, if you're trying to maximize the opportunity of uh, getting the gunslinger award. So I decided to move into the next car, 
Ghost is there. Um, it is risking a, a punch. Um, however, uh, if my goal is basically just to... I've got a couple of loot cards there, and I want to pick up some, some more... Uh, um, more bags of of uh, gold there and see see if i can get get lucky and maybe um if i am lucky i can avoid that punch and not lose that uh, gem that i'm holding um it, you know sometimes again you have to go for it uh you know some you can't assume that people um are have the cards they need to disrupt your play um, if you walk into a space and you're worried about a punch hey they may not have it they may not choose to use it um, there's a bunch of uh, factors there, so sometimes you have to make your move and hope uh, hope to some extent that it works out. But um, but sometimes you just have to be bold in this game, and even though it may seem counterintuitive. So Doc runs, and I'm going to move into Ghost's space and uh, hopefully don't draw a punch here. Um, the sheriff moves the other way, which is great because that could have uh, gotten in the way a little bit. Um, and Tuco goes to the roof to hang out with the ladies. I'm going to get a chance to uh, grab some uh, gold, but unfortunately Ghost played it well and knocked that gem out of my hand. So I was really feeling that uh, it was not <laughs> going that well. Um, I had $1,200, so not bad. Sometimes those... Uh, those, uh, uh, you know, money bags can, can work out. Managed to shoot Ghost into the next car, which is, again, a good use of Django's uh, uh, effect, is that if uh, Ghost is planned to punch and then loot, he's going to be really missing out. And he even takes a shot from Tuco through the roof, <laughs> which is a, an unintended side effect, but one that I'm quite happy with. Now, unfortunately, I miss out on my looting uh, turn as well because there's nothing there. And the uh, the sheriff, or the marshal goes to the uh, the empty locomotive. Bell punches the air, and uh, um, fortunately for me, uh, ghost cannot shoot. I'm one car too far, and they hit the the engine hits the brakes. Everyone jumps ahead one, and we're into round five with Doc, the clear winner here, or the one leading. So <clears throat> um, now he's a little bit far away from me. So I'm just going to look. I've got one loot card. I can grab a gem. Um, no shooting cards. So even though I'm ahead in the, uh, in the, um, you know, the, the Gunslinger Award at the moment, um, it's a bit precarious. I definitely can be threatened by either Tuco or Doc um, in this case. So not my favored situation in this, in this uh, you know, in this case. But we'll do what we can. Um, so um, we're going to drop the Sheriff card in the tunnel uh, phase. I, I really like um, playing the, the, the uh, Sheriff in the tunnel <laughs> phase, actually. Something that uh, for me is, a, is a, it's a surprise kind of play. And basically I punch to defend myself, you know, just in case. Um, just uh, even if I punch the air, it doesn't matter. I can't loot. I can't do anything else. Um, so I might as well just uh, stay defensive and on the off chance and this is why I think maybe if you if you haven't got anything really better to do punching in the last round of the game is a good idea because if someone happens to wander into your car uh, you can punch them and knock uh, a gem or, or something out of their hands and that can um, you know essentially win you the game potentially if it can flip the uh, the score around so We'll see how how this pays off. I'm going to grab the jewel. Hopefully Tuco's not going to punch me. I really couldn't. I really don't want to. Uh, hopefully he's just down there to loot as I am. <clears throat> and uh, we'll hope for the best. Now Belle does what she does best and picks up treasure. Um, so uh, we'll have to see now. Um, fortunately Tuco was looking to shoot. Um, probably to go after Ghost. Um, but Ghost... Uh, figured out what was what was going on and uh now doc is uh is down with bell and we have uh, the sheriff now i'm going to put the sheriff right next to them which is going to be kind of interesting now bell continues to loot and immediately gets back on the board um now does <laughs> does take a bit of a hit uh with um with the the marshal there now that really doesn't hurt um hurt either of them but 
really great move. Doc punches the the store box, the um, the the thousand dollar prize out of Bell's hands, and uh, I managed to punch Ghost out of there, knocking the jewel out of his hands. Cheyenne punches the air. We're down to the last round here, the last few cards. Bell goes uh, downstairs, but won't have the ability to loot anything, and Ghost loots nothing. So it's going to be really close. Um, and Tuco gets one last uh, shot away, and check that out. We're tied for the Gunslinger Award, and that really could have gone either way, because um, there was a, a bunch of shots, but luckily um, no targets. And so when we add them up, you can see everyone's got something on the board, but uh, it's going to be between myself and Doc. And fortunately, I tied the Gunslinger Award. I get the thousand from that, and I am also declared the winner. Pulled ahead at the last second. So um, hopefully this gave you a bit of a sense of how to use uh, Django's ability and gave you some strategy ideas. Again, I'm not a massive fan of his ability, but I do see its use and I think it can be great. So thanks for watching. This is Legendary Tactics.